On the phone with us now is House Judiciary Committee ranking member uh, and, of course, on the House Oversight Committee as well, Republican Congressman Jim Jordan. Um, uh, on the Oversight Committee, I apologize. Congressman, very good to have you. It's, what Leah yeah. Bonetta is saying is go slow. What do you make of that? Well, I think they understand that, that the conclusions were pretty definitive. No new indictments, no sealed indictments, no collusion, no obstruction. The, the Trump White House cooperated completely. They didn't exercise any privileges. So I think they understand that it's pretty clear cut what the findings were. Uh, well, it's not super clear see. cut on the obstruction. It was kind of like a jump ball. But you're right. If they were going to have to pursue something there, they would have said that. But, but where does this put it, you think, Congressman? Well, hopefully the Democrats will want to move on and not continue all their investigations. I don't think that's the case, based on the fact that just two weeks ago you had the Ways and Means chairman said he wants six years of the president's tax returns. You had the oversight chairman say he wants 10 years of the president's business record. And you had Jerry Nabbitt, who sent 81 letters to 60-some different people. So I don't think they're going to stop, which is unfortunate for the country. Um, what we need to do is move on and address the immigration issue and a bunch of other issues. And frankly, when it comes to this Russia issue, what we need to do is find out how it started in the first place. The wrong premise, the faulty premise, the false premise that this whole thing started on with the dossier and everything else, that does need to be investigated because you can't have the FBI using one party's opposition research document to launch an investigation and spy on the other party's campaign. And we know that took place, and we, need, we do need to get to the bottom of that because it's never supposed to happen in this country. All right. Um, be that as it may, and I know they're just polls, and it's just nowhere read a sentiment right now, but, uh, Congressman, there is a, a poll out of average voters across the country uh, for whom the Mueller thing was a non-event and, and is not even on the list of top five concerns or ten concerns, 15 or even 20 concerns. Yeah. Immigration, the economy, health care, those dominate this. What do you make of that and yeah. whether there's great peril, even for Republicans, to pursue their own investigations of an investigation? Well, well, certainly immigration is probably at the top of the list, if I was guessing. It uh, is. And, and, and yeah, of course, because it's a crisis on the border, and the American people want us to address that. But Democrats will not work with us to do the two things that have to be done, build the border security wall and change our asylum law. Those two things have to be done to, to, to deal with the emergency that is, in fact, on our border today. So I don't think the Democrats are going to work with to address those. That's unfortunate. The American people want us to do that. Maybe they'll come around and we can actually address the things that, that the American people care most about. But I will say this, Neil, as I go about, I was in two different states over the, the past week. I've been across our district. People are, are people are tired of this double standard, this idea that there's one set of rules for regular folk, but a different set if your name is Comey or Clinton or Lynch or Lerner, these names here. So they do want people who launch this investigation on, false, on a false premise. They do want them held accountable. And, and I do think it's important we get to the bottom of this because, as I said, that is not supposed to be how it works in this country. It's supposed to be equal treatment under the law. And the FBI is not allowed to use an opposition research document to launch an investigation into the other party's candidate. Bill Barr said that on the witness stand last week, in fact. So this is, um, this is important. I think we do need to look at that. So um, when Elijah Cummings of the House Oversight Committee says at least 100 times worse than the actions that led to the impeachment of Bill Clinton in 1998, is he hyperventilating, or, or what do you think? Well, he's wrong. I mean, they actually did. The, the, the special counsel did, I think, in that situation, say there was obstruction of justice. This one didn't. So I, I, think he's, I think he's completely wrong. But it goes to what I just said. They're bound to determine to not do what's best for this country, but instead focus on getting the president. And what I think the American people want us to do is focus on the issues that count and get to the bottom of how this false thing started in the first place. Never forget this, Neil. Back in January of 2017, when it was president-elect Trump, so prior to the inauguration, Chuck Schumer is on one of the Sunday shows, and he makes this statement, which I think is scary. He said this, if you mess with the intelligence community, he was talking about the president, because if you mess with the intelligence community, they have six ways from Sunday at getting back at you. Think about that. That is scary. Unelected people aren't supposed to get back at elected people. They're supposed to do their job. But what, in fact, they did, it looks like that statement that Chuck Schumer made is exactly what took place at the top levels of the FBI under the Comey cabal, these five key people, when they launched this investigation into the president. Jim Jordan, we shall see. It's not done yet, to your point. 